Okay, let's take a quick look at fractions with the different denominators. Well, we have to make sure that we understand what a least common denominator is. That'll be our key vocabulary. Um, and to add a subtract fraction with different denominators, first, you have to rewrite the fraction so that the denominators are the same. Uh, how do you do this? You choose a denominator that is the least common multiple of the denominators in the problem. Example 1. Let's put it up here. So for example 1, I have, let's see, 7 over 8 plus a negative 2 over 5. Now, 5 and 8, what? They don't have the um, denominators are not the same. So we have to find at least common. So let's take 8 first. 8 times 1 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 3 is uh, 24 times 4 is 32 times 5 oh and there's a 5 is 40 so I can stop there let's take 5 so 5 times 1 is 5 times 2 is 10 times 3 is 15 times 4 is tw uh, trying to get there fast boogie 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 all right not a problem so times 4 is 20, times 5 is 25, times 6 is 30, times 7 is 35, and times 8 is 40. Okay, so there's my least common multiple, which translate into my least common denominator. So how will I do that? I will take 40 and since 8 goes into 45 times, 5 times 7 will give me 35. Then I'm going to add to it 40 again. And since 5 goes into 48 times, and 8 times a negative 2 is a negative 16. Well, now we're doing good because we now have uh, our least common denominator. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. I don't take this out of our way. So we can write, 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 write. Okay. So now, let's see. Hmm. So I have a 40. Oh, I see. So now let's take 40 as our common denominator. And we have 35 plus a negative 16. Rules of integers. If the signs are opposite, smallest absolute value, 16. Subtract it from the largest absolute value, plus 35. And that will give us, uh, we'll, we'll write it, keep from going through that guessing game. And we'll take 10, make that 15. 6 from 15 is 9. And 1 from 2 is 1. So that gives us 19. Hmm, looks good to me. So 19 over 40 would be our answer. And we need to check to make sure that we can't simplify. No, nope, we can't simplify because 19 is uh, relatively prime. Only 1 in 19 can, can go into 19. So our final answer would be 19 over 40. Okay. Now... Let's take a look at a second example. So 
we have example two. And what are we going to do with it? Let's take three over ten. And this time, let's subtract a negative five over six. Well, we can multiply ten times six and get sixty if we wanted a common denominator, but it says we need to find the least common denominator. So let's go on with our um, least common multiples. So we have 10 times 1, 10 times 2, 10 times 3. Well, you know, I just happen to know that 6 and 30, because I'm looking at 10 times 3 is going to give me 30. So let's take a look at our 6 times 1. 6 times 2, 6 times 3, 6 times 4, and 6 times 5. So we have our 30 here. So now we can conclude that 30 is our common denominator. So that's going to give us, let's we say 30. And we'll put our subtraction sign back. And then we'll say 30 here. So 10 goes into 30 three times. 3 times 3 is 9. And 6 goes into 35 times. And 5 times 5 is 25. Okay. So now all we have to do is work on the math. Let me go ahead and pull my scratch work out of the way. Yeah, wait a scratch. Okay. Now we can take this and we will have 9 over 30 plus same opposite opposite plus a negative 25 over 30. Hmm. Did I do something wrong here? Okay, I guess not. All right, so let's go on and put our 30 in place. And here we'll have 9 plus a negative 15. Then we can go on and take, since their signs are different, we can take the, the smallest absolute, which is 9, and subtract it from the largest absolute, which is 15. And what we will get is... Hmm... What do we have? 9 from 15 will give me. Oh, that's what I'm doing wrong. Mine, mine, mine. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. That's 25. There we go. Thank you. And so now that's going to give me 16 over. 30. It's amazing how you can look at these problems and say something's something not right. And of course, it's a negative because 25 is larger. And let's try to reduce it. Definitely know we can reduce it because they're both even numbers. So let's try 2 and we'll get a negative 8 here at the top and 15 at the bottom. So as I look, now, no factors in common, so that would be our answer. So, again, with these particular fractions, the only thing now that we really, really need to look at is uh, modeling mixed numbers to see exactly how that works. And um, let's do it. Let's let's go ahead and put it in here. I don't. I don't. I'm sure we we will have a little time left. So let's go ahead and model these mixed numbers and see exactly how they fit into this as well so we can um, so we can go on and I can just assign you some problems so again 
we are we want to take a look at mixed numbers with different uh, different denominators, and we can do so. Let's take yeah. Let's make this one interesting. So let's take so let's see example three. So let's take thirty six and five eighths minus twelve and three fourths plus Okay. Wow. I didn't expect for it to be like that, but but we, we can do it. We can do it. But let's let's not worry about it. We can do it. So if we look at our denominators, eight, four, sixteen, we need to find a least common. Well, if we look at eight, eight times one, eight, eight times two, sixteen, that's saying something. And of course we know four. Uh, 4 times 4 is 16, so let's just go ahead and use 16 as our least common denominator, and we will write rewrite them. So if I have 36 and 5 over 8, but I'm using 16, 8 goes into 16 2 times, 2 times 5 is 10. Now well, that looks pretty good. And minus 12, and again, we're using... 16 so 4 goes into 16 4 times and 4 times 3 happens to be 12 and now plus 1 16 well let's see where we go from there I think it would be good to just go ahead and add our positive number so I can take 1 16 and add it to 12 16 and that's going to give me 36 and 10 sixteenths minus 12 and 13 16. How did I get that? I added 12 plus 1 here, added these two to get 13 16. Now, what I need to do is look at this particular problem and see that I need to add the opposite because it's subtracting and that's going to give me 36 nope not over over and out not over uh, so that's going to give me 36 and 10 over 16 that's a 10 not a 16 but a 10 so that's going to give me 36 and 10 over 16 plus a negative 12 and 13 over 16. Oh man, that's just pretty, pretty long problem. But anyway, let's take 35, let's take 36 and 12. So here we would have 36 uh, and we're going to subtract 12 from it and we'll get 23. So 36 plus a negative 12 that's going to equal to 23 and then we will have hmm just wondering about something here where or what in the world oh huh, that's 24 uh, let's go back in Make this 24. So that's 24. And we have under that, we have 10 over 16 and 13 over 16. So we must borrow something here from this 24. So let's make this 24 23 and 16 over. 16 and let's add to it 10 over 16 and I'm going to bring this all the way over here so we can finish it out so now we will have 23 
and make this 26 over 16 that's adding 16 plus 10 and now we will uh, subtract from that simply 13 or add subtract 13 over 16 and of course we can do so just put our 23 to the side and 13 from 26 will give us uh, 13 and then our 16 that was a long way problem because it, it consisted of three but you see the concept guys it's just uh, making sure that you uh, find a common denominator and in this case we had to borrow because subtracting from that wouldn't have, wouldn't have did it or we could have simply just went along and turned them all into an improper fraction but that seemed as if that was that would have been the easiest way because the improper fraction would have meant a lot of multiplication and then once we do these big multiplication like that we have a tendency for error so uh, stay tuned and we'll put some problems up for you to work